You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face on Greater Brockton. I have Bill Hogan, who I would consider one of the people to be Mr. Downtown. Hi, Bill. Right. How are you? Good to Good see you. Thank you. I love seeing the posts that are being made on Facebook mm -hmm. with all the pictures yep. of Brockton of yesteryear. Mm -hmm. Okay, and some, you know, some like Eddie Poole goes around the city and takes <laughs> pictures of like the building today and, and the building as it was before. Yep. I always loved that. That was a Stan Bowman yep. thing yeah. when Stan Bowman was sure. alive. Yeah. But you're doing a really nice event that I heard about, mm -hmm. a 12-day yep. festival of events mm -hmm. that's starting on the 27th of September, which is a Thursday, and going through Monday the mm -hmm. 8th of October, which is Columbus Day, sure. the Downtown Brock, down, okay, use Downtown Fest Brockton 2018. Yep. Tell us about it. Okay, this is a, um, it started as a three-day festival, mm -hmm. and I was actually um, fashioning it after the Summer Fest, mm -hmm. only it would be later in the year, and it would be kind of an, an, an end-all End of, end of the season event, not a, not the end of the year, right? Um, but it's kind of a tourist attraction. I consider the um, the Christmas parade and the Christmas pageant like the end of the year right. event. But I said we need something to kind of like end the end the um, the summer season with the uh, event where everybody could come together in Brockton, downtown Brockton as a community. So I just named it Downtown Fest, say Summer Fest, Downtown, downtown Fest, Fest, Brockton. And, and everybody that did anything at all positive in Brockton, businesses, nonprofits, churches, um, any community activities, the Ash Street Playground, the James Egger Playground Association, they could all be part of this by coming downtown. And if they were in the downtown area, like the, maybe the James Egger um, is kind of close to the downtown area, they would maybe have events at their place and celebrate the year. Mm -hmm. So it was a uh, kind of a homecoming. I actually call our um, our reunion marketplace on um, so many dates here. I think it's September 29th as a kind of a reunion marketplace, a homecoming, mm -hmm. um, where you just come to downtown. And um, where my my museum is like virtually in the center of Brockton. It's on the corner of School and Main Street, and I haven't measured it out, but geographically it does look like it's exactly in the center of, of Brockton. And um, so that was my thinking, athletics, arts, um, food and entertainment, anything that's good. And I you don't just mean, came off of a successful athletic event. You did the Mark O'Reilly yep, swim tournament. Swimmy, that was fantastic, better than I could have hoped. Um, we ha you always have to get your first event out of the way. Mm -hmm. And I've had events, uh, kite festivals, where I went down to Salisbury Park and it was me and my buddy and my mom and uh, you know uh, cousins and we were just sure. standing there. But you have to get the first one out of the way. Well, we showed up at the par at the pool, uh, Cosgrove pool on uh, on the east side, and the parking lot was full. Uh, we we filled up the whole parking lot. There was probably sixty to seventy swimmers, mm -hmm. and it went from four years old all the way up to probably about sixty five, sixty six years old. Mm -hmm. um, I almost I swam. I almost had a heart attack. Um, well, I we don't want that to happen. No, no. And um, but we had a great time. And Mark O'Reilly, while we're, we're talking a little bit about, was uh, um, my community school coach. And my assistant uh, coach at uh, Brockton High, I was a swimmer. Friend, Mr. O'Neill was the um, the, the uh, head coach. And then on the community school, it switched. Mark right. was the head coach, and Mr. O'Neill was the assistant. And it was quite a uh, quite a time for us. Um, Brockton sports were really on a uh, on a um, on a high. We were winning Super what, Bowls. What, what and year was that? Coach? 73, 74, and 75. Okay, and I came right after you. Yeah. I wasn't a swimmer. Mm -hmm. I managed to help manage the swim team. Okay. Yeah. Mark O'Reilly and Brendan. Sure. Brendan still looks very young. He looks younger than me. And yeah. I worked with Mark O'Reilly when he was in Jack Eunice's yep. office as the uh, chief yeah. of staff. Years later, yep. my dad lived to be 90 years old, partially because mm -hmm. he used to swim laps in that pool mm -hmm. with Claire Appling. Yep. I remember okay. she was a marathon and Nancy swimmer. Nancy Smith. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dad was always in good condition. He said, sure. if you want to stay healthy, swim. Swim. Yep. Okay. Yep. But in my day, in order to do you had to take swim for gym class. Right. Well, I figured out you could manage the team and still swim and not have to do it not in gym class. class. So I that, didn't know that was a way yeah. of kind of end running sure. the system. Yeah. Because I didn't like to swim in organized groups. I like to swim more yeah. more the laps. Sure, but recreation. That was a great event. This yep. event, mm -hmm. okay, twelve days. That's ambitious. Going sure. from three days to twelve days. So yep. what types of things are going to happen at the event? Well, the uh, we start out actually on Thursday night, mm -hmm. and this has been going on for quite a while. Um, Rob Sims, who was Marvin Hagler's younger brother, yeah. um, came up with the idea, actually, of coffee 
having coffee with some local boxes. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we invited Tony Petronelli and Robbie and uh, Tiger Moore, um, Brian Powers, Mikey O'Han, some of the local people that are still in the area. Sure. And we just got together in the museum and had coffee and um, we usually get some pizza from Stella and he sponsors it. He usually doesn't charge me. Not all the time, though. Okay. <laughs> and we have well, pizza. I go there all the time. I do. Get a sub yeah. It's a good yeah. place to go. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's, his, he has a boxing background with his father. He owned the Ward 5 Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where a lot of the boxes got started. So I try, anything I do is usually connected to Brockton history somehow. Okay. I try to do that. So that's Thursday. That's Thursday night. And um, the Prava, who we were talking about before right. this, um, is proving to be very popular in downtown Brockton. Well, they run Thursday and Friday every every day of the summer. Right. Well, they happen to be running the 27th and 28th. Yeah. So I just put them on the schedule. Sure. They they're not sponsoring it. We know money is exchanged. They just happen to be there. So right. I'm promoting it as far as incorporating part of my, other events. Exactly. I do that for anybody. Yep. Um, the, the guests just before here, they have an open house on the 27th. Right. So. They're going in the schedule. Good. Again, no money changes hands. They have their open house. It's on the schedule. Sounds good. Um, Friday night, now Friday afternoon, I wish I was a little more prepared for this. Um, from 2 to 8 p.m., we're having a, bro a boxes open house at the Brockton Public Library. Okay. And it'll be exhibits, Brockton boxing exhibits throughout the library. Well, thank you for including the to, library as the chairman of yes, the board. Yes. Uh, I'm you, glad I'm you're the trustee, part of the library. Yep, yep. Uh, we want everybody to yep. come to it. I love the library. The library is a museum. It, it it's sure art is. art museum, history museum, and uh, resources. Um, and it's going to be research. a performing arts center, too. We're yeah. going to do music I with Paul. Yep. And uh, if I had had it my way, there would have been a stage off the back of the library. But that's it's story we got time. for another day. we got time. we got another time. <laughs> um, yep. What do I have left for time? I have two minutes left. Okay. Now, so, so All right. We'll go to Saturday. Saturday on the uh, 29th is a big day. Yeah. We have a car show that comes to Brockton, and um, it's on the corner of School and Main Street in that area. We try to find as many parking lots as we can. Okay. And last year we got about 150 cars. Mm -hmm. we, ex we expect about 200, 225 this year. And that tells me alone that there'll be at least 225 people at the sure. event because somebody has to drive the car there. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and they usually don't come alone. Mm -hmm. uh, the Priver will be going off that day from 10 to 4. Okay. So that'll bring another three or 400 people. Then we have history on display in Brockton. We're putting some history displays right out on the sidewalk. And then we have vendors that will be coming um, anyway that always do. I'll have entertainment, um, yeah. City Hall Plaza, okay. Thunderbolt uh, Productions, who you, you deal with them sure, quite a bit. Sure. We'll have bands playing. Uh, and the Prava will have their bands. So it's two different entities Good. going at the same time, and hopefully we'll be far enough apart. Yeah, one minute, and I'm giving <laughs> yep. you 30 seconds of it. Okay, so that's it. It's a community event between um, September 27th and October 8th, uh, Columbus Day. If you're interested in um, being a part of it, come down to the museum. Uh, we also have a Facebook site. Um, uh, I searched long and hard for this, um, this title. It's called Downtown Fest Brockton. Perfect. Simple and, enough. And, and a good old-fashioned <laughs> phone number in case I don't have a phone you. number. Um, okay. Uh, and okay, I'm so sorry, go to the I Facebook because you can do a message yeah. there. Yeah. And you like person to person, so I come do. and see you. Yeah. Bill, thank, thank you. Mark. you. Very Always good. a pleasure. Yep. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.